Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for May 20th through the 26th. We are on take number four. We are going to see what comes up. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading may or may not be for you. We have uh, gone back to the favorite deck because the last three didn't seem, well they worked, but I can't share them. Anyway, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the collective. I happen to be Capricorn, Moon. Something that you have planted a long time ago, maybe in October, seven months ago, could be seven years ago, whatever has come to fruition. This is discouragement though. Insecurities could be in the way. This is an opportunity for wish fulfillment, but you may not believe it. <laughs> oh boy. So, five of swords. There's some sort of tension. Definitely some tension here. Distraction. Somebody has been easily distracted. Struggling. Struggling to go after their wish fulfillment. Ooh. High priest of sweeper. Oh, not reversed. Um, oh my goodness gracious. We could be dealing with a water sign. I gotta get a drink. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Sorry, I got thirsty. Anyway, um, wow. So yeah, there's an there's an offer of love here. There's an offer of love coming in, but somebody may not be emotionally available. Okay, somebody's not mastering their emotions very well. They're not in a positive state of mind. Okay, we got somebody who is. Well, maybe not emotionally available. But there is an offer of love coming in. And there's there's somebody that has been keeping it a secret. They haven't been speaking their truth. They've been hiding their feelings. But there's already been some sort of investment here. Okay? Something there's already been some sort of investment. But somebody may have their heart set on somebody who that is a literally unavailable. Now there's a new offer of love. And somebody is struggling. They're really struggling with following their intuition. Mmm. It's like they're, they've been, somebody's been blocking their intuition. Letting pride and ego get in the way. Because this is a card of pride and ego. Five of swords. Could be a water sign. You could be dealing with a water sign who has a big pride, and huge pride and ego, whatever. They've been keeping their feelings a secret. There's been blocked communication. Maybe somebody was distracted by somebody who wasn't well suited for them because they were trying to prove a point. This is trying to prove a point. You know, this guy does always has to win no matter what, don't care who he hurts. So we got somebody here who has probably hurt somebody trying to prove a point, keeping their true feelings a secret, and now, you know, they've been blocked or they haven't communicated. And it's like, now... <laughs> Now they're overwhelmed. They probably have a lot of personal fear and worry and they've been avoiding a challenge. They've been avoiding coming forward, moving forward out of fear, but they have love to offer. So I feel like somebody is hoping that you will give them a chance. That's what this is too. Somebody has made some changes in their life. They've made some conscious changes. 
This is dropping something. This person hasn't, hasn't had the best of intentions. We're dealing with a person that is not, hasn't had the best of intentions or doesn't have the best of intentions. The King of Cups reversed. It's a water sign. This person has been watching. They're observing from behind the scenes, keeping it a secret. Almost doing like their own little private investigation. Very self-centered individual, somebody whose ego is huge. Um, we got somebody here that I think this guy is wanting to come come clean you know he's wanting to speak up he's wanting to change the circumstances he's wanting to deep deep in a bond but his pride and ego are huge that's what's holding him back we have somebody here that is being held back by their ego and their pride from deepening a bond it's like they see that there's a deep bond in there they see that there's love but their pride and ego is so big that they're having a hard time stepping forward they're being distracted by their pride and their ego, put it that way. But it's like they know, they know that there's a deep bond here and they're watching and they're investigating, they're observing. And it's like, uh, it's like they, they need to make a decision and they're in the process. Is, it is a complex decision. It is a complex decision because they're going to have to probably sever ties with something probably the wrong one they might have to sever ties with the wrong one to move forward towards the right one because this is severing ties as well I, I i feel like we have somebody here that has been keeping their true feelings a secret and the the re one of the reasons they've been keeping their true feelings a secret is because of their pride and ego and another reason is because of another person this other person could be the person that they're with which is not well suited for them or it could be a child so there's another person that is hindering a person's um, ability to go after the deep bond that they are feel feeling. We have the Empress. We have the Empress here. The Empress, she is the goddess of love. She's, she's tender, loving care. She's unconditional love, right? She is. So I feel like we have this Knight of Cups that is making a decision. This is the decision being made to go after this goddess of love. I mean, she knows her worth. She's beautiful. She's gentle she's she's compassionate she's loving she's caring she's she's glowing she has multiple options she knows she has multiple options she gives birth to a new life and she delivers she delivers so i feel like we have somebody here that has been watching it's almost like they've been watching a connection grow from behind the scenes They've been watching a connection grow, a bond deepen from behind the scenes, and they probably don't like what they're seeing, and they're, and they're stepping in. This is somebody who doesn't have anything good to say. They don't want a person to move forward. It's a negative Nelly. It's a meddler. It's almost like there's a meddler coming in to, you know, hinder the progress. Somebody that doesn't have good intentions. So I feel like, you know, you are, if you are the female watching this, eat this, you are taking on the Empress energy. You are being seen as this beautiful, you know, compassionate being of love, okay? This is what you are being, you are glowing. You are being sought after. Opportunities are looking for you. Opportunities are coming your way if you are this woman. Now I'm going to throw this out here because we get all these youngins that are cheating on their spouses that call themselves the Empress. Absolutely not. The Empress is not a youngin who cheats. The Empress is a woman who knows her value and her worth. 
and she does she does not get involved in third party situations. Mm -mm. So this this empress she knows her value, and because she knows her value, everybody else sees her value. That's what she radiates. That's what she vibrates as, highly valuable. So anyway, I think there's an offer of love coming in. If you are the male, if you're the male watching this, this is who you're dealing with. You're dealing with a woman that is very valuable. She is the goddess of love. She has multiple options and she will settle for nothing less than she deserves. And she will deliver what she promises. When she makes a promise, she keeps it. She delivers. So I feel like we have a bond that is deepening for this woman who knows her value. If you are the male watching this, this is who you are, are dealing with. This, this woman is deepening, deepening her bond, whether it's with you or somebody else. This woman is deepening. She is making a decision. She is making a decision to deepen a bond. She may be severing ties with a... Well, I'm trying to be nice here, but I have one word, and it's prick. So that's what it is. Anyway, um, once and for all. And um, it's like, this is, I know, I know what I have to do. So anyway, sorry, I don't know where that came from. This is, I know. I know my intuition, my intuition tells me that I have a deep bond. This is sadness, unhappiness, no growth. Somebody has made some poor financial decisions or poor decisions, period. Their life has been turned upside down by their inability to adapt or be flexible. It's like somebody has been going, you know, had a lot of ups and downs in their lives and a lot of things be turned upside down because of, it's like they have somebody in their life that is holding them back, that is distracting them. They have a negative person in their life. Somebody that's not well suited for them, not well suited to live with them, whatever. And it's like, and this is, I think that whoever this person is, is like, this person knows, I know that this person isn't good for me. Could be a child. Very opinionated child. It's causing chaos. It's like it's hindering, it's delaying a deep bond with this person. I don't know. Anyway, I feel as though, Capricorn, that somebody is receiving some sort of profit or reward at this time. For all their hard work. They've received this reward, but, but, but accepting it is the problem. Accepting it is the problem because there's, there's, there's other people here in the mix. There are. But we have somebody here that is making a decision to perhaps start a relationship with this empress. 
because this is a new relationship making the decision this is a deep bond I've been unhappy and my life has been turned upside down long enough by this negative situation I know that this is an opportunity for happiness But there's fear. There's fear of being of starting over. Somebody's been being taken advantage of as well. Fear of starting over. But this is a solid, stable offer. Take your time. There's no need to rush. No need to hurry. So I feel like we have somebody here that is being tested. Their integrity is being tested. what matters most what is what matters most love connection this is a deep bond like I said I think there's a bond that is deepening between two people and there's somebody up here that doesn't like it that's what this is we got a negative Nelly in the in the picture somebody that doesn't want this bond to deepen and they're trying to stop it by causing conflict and power struggles. But this is a bond. It's a deep love connection. So I feel like there's a romance that is, you know, really coming together. But somebody is discouraged perhaps because of the children. I don't know if it's children. Could be anybody else. Could be just immature adults. But there is an opportunity for extreme happiness here, and there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment. I do see a bond that is deepening. You know, there's a true love connection here that is that is happening. And I think we have somebody here that is making a decision to follow their heart. They've invested quite a bit of time in it already. There are ties that are being severed, though. It is what it is. Somebody is offering an offering love and stability and security. very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now it's time to and this is make the decision right here seven of cups reversed is somebody is making the decision to clearly decide what they want is this the relationship this is relationship growth and this is growth this is do you want this relationship or not it's safe for you to love open your heart and heart to give and receive the highest energy of all it is safe for you to love. Follow your heart, Capricorn. I think that we have somebody here that has been testing. They have been quietly testing another pers person's loyalty and love. And I think this person has passed the test. But there's somebody in the mix that still isn't happy. Could be a child. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's almost like these, this person or these people don't want to... let another person in or something like that I don't know it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all this is a this is a this is a deep connection right here it's perfect it's beautiful so I think that there is a deep connection that is coming together with somebody that you are probably you know, 
perfect together. It's perfect. It's a perfect match. But you're going to have to face your fears and face adversity and don't get discouraged by other people's opinions because other people's opinions are huge here. You will be more respected for following your own path than following another person's. Trust me. So anyway, that's what I have, Capricorn. I feel like you are dealing, either you are the Empress and you have multiple options and you are the pick of the litter, or you are dealing with an Empress who is the pick of the litter. She gives birth to a new life. She delivers and she takes care of it. So I don't know who this reading is for, but for some of you, it's a Taurus or a Libra that you are dealing with. That's your love. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You have a new relationship. I think somebody is coming in with an offer of love and it's and it's a it's genuine. It is. It's a very genuine offer of love. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This is somebody that you have known. This is a past life connection. So yeah, that's what I got. Talk to you later.